So this question says the graph of the exponential function h in the xy plane, where y equals h of x, has a y-intercept of d. Let's just stop right there because we read quite a bit. Um, so first of all, the exponential function. What is an exponential function? So we're told that we have an xy plane. So I, I, I typically make the habit of just drawing an xy plane. Um, we are told that we have an exponential function. And exponential functions typically look something like this in terms of shape, okay? Starts off small and then goes up pretty rapidly and pretty quickly um, as we go further to the right. So we are told that this graph is equal to y or is represented by y equals h of x. We're also told starting here that it has a y-intercept of d where d is a positive constant. So let's just fill this in. So if I said that is d, and I have a graph that let's say looks like that, then this should be a pretty good representation visually of what I just read, okay? So this, the question says, which of the following could define the function h? Well, so the function, again, is an exponential function. In order to be an exponential function, you have to have an exponent. Right, so let's see the answer choices to see which ones have an exponent. Um, in fact, we have to have a variable exponent, right? Because we want as x goes higher, when x is 1, when x is 2, when x is 3, when x is 4, x is 5, we want this graph to be climbing higher and higher and higher, right? So we don't want a fixed exponent. We want a variable exponent. So a does have a variable exponent, and d also has a variable exponent, but b and c do not. So those are crossed out, just given our understanding of what an exponential function should do. Second of all, if I now look at the comparison between choice A and choice D, I'm going to say that D is the best answer here because A has a negative sign in front of this D to the X power, which means that my function will, in fact, go negative, right? And I don't want it to go negative. I want it to be positive. I want my y-intercept here to be positive. So for that reason, choice A is also gone, leaving choice D to be the best answer. So really, really more of a process of elimination here. Again, based on my understanding and hopefully your memory of what an exponential function actually means.